Hello everybody, welcome to the official round three group N replay cast of Call Troop versus Sipjin. And now um, let's have a look at the table and you can see that Call Troop and Sipjin have both played two, lost two versus the bigger boys, Bright and Ivan Colin. Um, so this is a game just for honor or whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, duty bound to play out all their games um, for the tournament. See if they can get any points. The Sip Gin is French and qualified through the Canard WC 8pm French League Coalition uh, tournament. And Call Troop is Spanish and qualified through the LH Liga Super Blitz. So there you go. There are the two coaches. And the other team, the other human team in this competition also lost both its first games. So this is interesting to see if humans can get any points at all in this competition. Um, we've got three guard, a mighty blow, a couple of blocks, a tackle. Also the weather is sweltering heat, which actually favors the humans with 14 players. So there we go. Oh, good night, Cole. <laughs> I mean, everything's on the line in this match, you know. Uh, everyone should stay and watch this one. Please. <laughs> and uh, the Orcs have got a couple of guard, a couple of block, mighty blow. Uh, Pulsating blood ball action. I mean, you know, look, most games we play are pointless, right? Most games, like most ladder games, there's nothing on the line, right? Uh, most league games, there's nothing on the line. So, you know. <laughs> Euro ball, there's nothing actually on the line, is there? You know? So, at the end of the day, you know. <laughs> this, is, this is just one of 99.999% of Blood Bowl games. They have no chance of getting any prize money. <laughs> but yes, there's honor, glory, and respect. They are all things that uh, humans have for Blood Bowl coaches. Oh, there you go. Dimmy won a chalk team. And people get little prizes, don't they? I've got a little trophy. And I got little trophies from playing Warhammer as well and 40k and Lord of the Rings and Blood Bowl but, you know. <laughs> maybe should have bought down there right to stop the uh, troll hitting him with mighty blow next turn maybe should have just taken the boat down there A billion dies. Mm. Gets the knockdown. I, I honestly don't hate the block big and like maybe just one block big and, and three guard ones. Because like it is good that it gives you an assistless blitz sometimes. Sometimes that is useful having a, a strength four blitz, but obviously generally the mighty blow blitz is just better, right? Like is his position that much better than if this guy was there and the mighty blow had hit him? Not really. Hello, Nyaga. He did indeed, yes. Um, that is great. <laughs> great news for Alan and uh, terrible news for Diomed. And, not Diomed, sorry, Dion Lord. And uh, pretty good news for all the group winners, I would say. Yep. Yep. No. Could have had one of the best tabletop coaches with four ghouls, and instead, don't. Got a hit on the ball here if he if he can roll some dice. Um, sit Jim, right? You can just punch there, then punch there. Like if he gets a pal, you can punch there, punch there. Gobble does him, and then he can one be the ball, but he doesn't get the power. 
Yes. Uh, yes, you win the group no matter what. It was 1 mil, yeah, no, okay, yeah, you win the group. Yeah. <laughs> England. England losing to Ireland at Euro Bowl. It wasn't that big of a surprise. They lost to Scotland in the... Uh, Oh no, that was the Barbarians lost to Scotland, wasn't it? That was that was the biggest surprise. <gasps> he did a two dice block. And uh, absolutely no safe moves first. So... Flip me. Still just a 1D on the ball though, isn't it? Unless he... I guess he could dodge this go goblin through. Yeah, you could like dodge the goblin through and stuff. Probably not worth it. Nah, he doesn't go for it. Gosh. Who did England lose to in the home nations? Was it just the barbarians they lost to? They must have like lost to somebody else as well, right? England lost only to the barbarians. And the Barbarians only lost to Scotland. And then... And then why did England... Why did Barbarians win? Was it head-to-head -head or was it uh, strength of schedule or was it individual points? Right. Individual points. Wow. Yeah, maybe, maybe Block Orker is the best thing, honestly, and then you just get to smash with him. Oh, does the marked pass and runs away. Look at that, what a play. What a play, guys. Oh, another dodge. Shores it up perfectly. This, these are the kinds of plays that got Cold Troop uh, into third place in the Season 2 Finals. You know, that was really good. Really good desperation play. But, you know, maybe Sipjin should have gone for the ball sack. It was a few dice, but maybe it was worth it. Oh. Gets him down. Oh, here we go. 2D on the ball. It was already 2D. He's a catcher. <laughs> He's a catcher. He didn't need the assist. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Maybe he should have 3D'd with a big one. You can think of many new faces that are just as good as the old ones. Do you mean England? I don't think you can think of many as good as Purple Goo and K-Funk. But I guess the ones that were replaced. Yeah. I mean, I don't think that's many. <laughs> We've got two. <laughs> I don't know how good Tokamada is, but, um... I don't even know how good Tulian is either, but... I mean, as good as Purple Goo? As good as Purple Goo? Nah. Nah. Nah, <laughs> as good as Koo and K as good as Koo Goo and Kfog, no. As good as Joe Manji and Pete W, maybe. I would be inclined to not think as good as Pete W. I put Pete W ahead of Joe Manji. Pete W is really, really good, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would agree. I would agree, PC. But then... Yeah, I would agree. Yes, yeah, yeah, there you go. PC said exactly what I was thinking. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Yeah. Until but I, I mean, I would 100%. I would have. So I, I, that, there's defend. five. <laughs> I will defend. There's five. And then you add... You add PC and Dave all of that. Oh, wow. That was a pitch invasion. That absolutely shatters the offensive drive for Sip Gin. Uh, thank you very much. Fallen unconnected.
But yeah, I mean, I think you have to pick Dave on PC for Team England. I just think you have to. I think that's they're they're as on the team as as anybody. Personally, if Dave wants to play for England, yes. I feel like the England captain's primary, <laughs> primary uh, objective should be to get Dave on the team. Oh wow, we're doing a thrown halfling. Oh, oh, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't hit the carrier, but he got close. Double rush to hit a gobbo. Tackles him down. Yeah. To me, honestly, if I was running for team for, for Team England Captain, my entire thing would be <laughs> um, I'll get Dave to play for Team England. And that would be much stronger than anything anyone else said, I would say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good point, PC. Yeah, but then, of course, the thing is, you've got people being friends and stuff, haven't you? Which is a part of it, so... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If they want to go, they want to go. But yeah, yeah, not England. That that makes sense. That makes sense. PC. Yeah, yeah. They just go, but just for fun with buddies and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. He's got a rushy, hasn't he? Probably. Oh, it's his last reroll. He probably did need the rush because otherwise this guy just runs around and nails him. Yeah, it's a double rush to hit him, he kind of had to, but now he'll leave himself with two rushes, it's possible. Mm. Well, there you go. Still, I mean, if I had had a, if I had had a conversation with Dave O, then I would have definitely mentioned it. And I, would have, I would have got Dave O to make it a, a a Devo guarantee. <laughs> and then I would say, we've got a Devo guarantee. If I'm team captain, Devo players. And then that would sure, should surely be an avalanche of votes, right? It should be, I think. I think I think it's, it's kind of crazy that Devo's not on the team. Kind of crazy that PC was... But did, I don't know, well, I don't know. Don't answer if you don't want to, PC. But I heard that you weren't sure you could go and stuff. That's what I heard. So, you know, that's fair enough then, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go, PC. That that would have been the strongest... Uh... Oh. Oh. Double rush. Makes him. So, it's 1-1. One, one. What does the heat hit? Troll... Biggin tackle blitzer and it hits halfling lineman blitzer so absolutely brutal heat for sip gin but nine players for call troop and 10 for sip gin but sip gin has three goblins on the pitch no troll down a biggin down the tackle blitzer and Call trip is like missing Lyman and Halfling. So yeah, this is this is definitely worse for Sipjin here. But um Well who knows? Who knows? He's it's one one. He's getting the ball. He's got a chance, but it's gonna be rough with three goblins. Yeah, to be fair, son, uh, that makes it much harder to get Dave on Team England. <laughs> because I wouldn't want to play 
in Euro Bowl as it stands. You could get a bunch of new England players, I guess, right? And then just have them go out and be like, Woo, look, you're like an England player now. I guess you could do that. <laughs> a Euro Bowl 25 intervention. Mm. Don't know how much effect it'll have. It really gave me the impression of like the Blood Bowl 3 beta, you know, like it's just not going to change significantly. Maybe it will, but generally people don't tend to change their fundamental decisions, do they? So... There you go. The host nation help just thinks of a rule set and then does it. Maybe could have made that a 3D, couldn't they? But nitpicky and maybe not even possible. This Hungarian BB player. It's probably Lords. Does a 1D. Beats him off. Depth over two hours. <laughs> Another removal, really rough for the orcs now. Will the humans be able to get any points <laughs> in this tournament? Maybe if this is a Kaz. Oh, it's not. Still tough. I mean, three players are goblins, right? They're barely an they're barely an orc team anymore at this point. Oh wow! So he's got stun. He's got three, six, wait, three, six, nine players versus eight, but three of those players are goblins. Only two are big ones versus an ogre, so it's it's pretty close, pretty close on the pitch. Poor. Goblins are not class, Magnus. <laughs> Sorry, Magnus the Pink, Yudlagar, Moridan, Daedalquist, Tibum. Goblins are rubbish. <laughs> rubbish, rubbish Blood Bowl players. <laughs> oh, but also not caging is rubbish. Okay, go goblins are really bad players, but do you know what's worse than a goblin at Blood Bowl? Not caging. Not caging the ball is worse than being a goblin. Why? Did he not see? I guess he just didn't see, right? I guess just a mi misclick and stuff, right? These three should all just be one square back. Maybe he doesn't care because he's lost both his games and it's irrelevant, but... Yeah, this was, uh... Not good. On a scale of one to not good, not caging <laughs> is not good. The goblin's knocked over, but it bubbles out. Only a push. Okay, this is a, like this is actually an okay, right? Even though he lost the ball um, and got two players stunned, <laughs> as long as he picks it back up, which he doesn't, okay, then he could have been 
back kind of safe now we're going to just see everything powerful oh no we're not i thought the ogre would have piled in right one two three four five i would have got the ogre in here just go just sell out for the ball i think Does the rush, the dodge, and the pickup? It fails the pickup. And. Well. Things can happen. I wonder if that was worth a uh, goblin block, right? Because it'd still be 2D, and then you could just blitz with a big one to save players. But I mean, this does get to hit the block and mighty blow, which is pretty good. Makes the pick up. It's a 1D instead of the Goblin Dodge. That was a unbelievably critical 1D. Doesn't dodge the Gobbo. Well, I feel like you know, like, the, the fail is terrible, obviously. The failure state of this dodge is terrible, but I still just think you have to, because otherwise he's not there at all, right? So... Like, so you might as well have failed, right? Because he just wasn't there. So, yeah. <laughs> It was a bad fail, but you gave yourself no other option to fail if you didn't attempt it. And now... Oh, another fail pickup. Out of rerolls call true, but... In a very strong position, he could get the cheeky upset win. Yeah, political. Let's, let's keep politics out of the chat, please. Uh... Let's not, let's not go there. I'm going to be, you know, a say-nothing kind of streamer. <laughs> well, I'm going to try to be a say-nothing kind of streamer. You know, the everything is awesome kind of uh, streamer, you know. The classic... The classic uh, Lego, the classic Lego, uh, Lego movie, everything is awesome. That's it. Gets the push. Long way though, I don't know if he can score, it might be a double rush. Is he just going to do it? He, he does one rush and he does it, and he's 2-1 off. And uh, there we go. That is almost certainly a win for Call Troop in this completely irrelevant game. <laughs> Banged out orcs up 9 to 7, though some of them were goblins, to be fair. And uh, now when he actually wanted a goblin, right, to get the troll toss. He loses it. Humans won a game, yep. So there you go. Yeah, no more shed help. Just keep it out of the Discord and that's all right, isn't it? And out of the chat. And out of your minds and if you just sit there and just chant to yourself, everything is awesome, then uh, that's the best thing you can do. Oh. Double one. Humans massively OP. Really feeling the OP ness. Blitz the troll to get three more players free and kill him. <laughs> Pretty good. 
Well, we should pick up on the halfling, right? So that the, uh, the so that the ogre can throw him next turn, or actually have the have the old, have the halfling. What three, four, five? Have the halfling here, so that the the ogre can go there and throw him. No, Quincy, the OP Ness. You know, something's overpowered. The OP Ness. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, I think the ordering is. You know, who cares? At the end of the day. <laughs> Gets the 1D power. I don't even know if this is the last turn or if Call Troop's got another one. No, Call Troop's got another one, right? The the uh, the ult received this half, so we've got a chance of a third. Or as Kalon would say, a turd. Goes for the handoff, double rush, and he's going to fail the second one. No, he's not. Makes the catch, rush to score the third. <laughs> okay, silly me, of course he's going to fail the last one. <laughs> well, there you go. Call trip one. Um, congratulations to him. Commiserations to Sip Jin. And uh, yeah, Call Troop. Call Troop gets three points. So um, unfortunately, the table hadn't updated yet, but. Um, Yep, that makes Call Troop third in the group. So, congrats to him. Commiserations, Sip Jin, but of course, neither of them will qualify for the elimination stage. Knockout stage? Knockout stage? Cup stage? Whatever it's called. Round of 32. There you go. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.